I'm Marco Andretti, driver of the number 26 Venom Energy car for Andretti Autosport. We're here in Gasoline Alley. Uh, well, the season so far has been, you know, a lot of ups and downs. Um, you know, we uh, we started, you know, on not such a high note. Uh, we were upside down. We didn't even have a chance to uh, compete at St. Pete. Um, you know, our our pace has been pretty pretty decent. You know, as a team for sure. We uh, we had Mike get a win for us at Long Beach. Um, but, you know, as far as myself, we were able to salvage a bit of a result in uh, Barber. We were fourth. Um, and, you know, Brazil, we ran up front all, all day in the wet, and we got a little mixed up with some strategy. So uh, we didn't really get home, get to bring home the trophy there. But, uh, you know, a lot of ups and downs. But Indianapolis is a championship in itself. So, uh, you know, we'll be looking to capitalize here. My earliest memories, uh, probably just the Speedway, the old Speed, Speedway Motel, just hanging out with um, my mom and, and my grandparents, um, just listening to, to Carnegie say uh, my father and grandfather's name and stuff over the loudspeaker, watching, watching the closed circuit, um, watching the times very closely. Um, I can't tell you what age. I mean, you know, I was here, uh, I was born in March, and... I was here in May, so I was two months old probably when the first time I was here. Uh, well, I mean, I can't really put into words what this place, you know, means to me. Um, I, uh, I love this place. I mean, just driving through the, the gates, it's just a great feeling. You know, for our family, we have loads of, uh, loads of memories here. Um, you know, a lot of times, not always good. You know, we, uh, we have a lot of plane rides home talking about how we could have won it, but uh, you know, this year, hopefully, we're talking about how we want it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just hang out in, at my motorhome, you know, at the track. That's where I stay. But, uh, you know, I'll venture out for dinner downtown and stuff like that. Um, meet up with some, some friends in town, some Colts players and stuff like that. Um, but other than that, just, just kind of stay focused on the job. Uh, well, I think the key to going fast, it depends, you know, whether we're talking about qualifying or the race. You know, uh, if it's me, I think I attack the race almost like a road course to where, uh, you know, it's, it's the first battle is, is just making it through, you know, putting it takes a lot to, to put yourself in a position to, to be able to, to win this thing. And uh, a lot of variables, a lot of scares, a lot of things happen during the race. Um, you know, it is 500 miles. It's the longest race that we run all year. So, uh, you know, staying unscathed is a big part of that. Um, but, you know, in qualifying, I don't know. I mean, take some rear wing out of it. Stay flat. Um, teammate past the present. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty content right now. Um, you know, it, it's great having, you know, just just one race a year, unfortunately, but having my cousin John, he's, uh, you know, he really, he respects me. I respect him, and, and we work well together. Um, you know, Dad was a good teammate. It's cool having the family part of the team, for sure. Uh, I think Twitter's a good marketing tool. You know, it's, it's good to uh, plug a couple of your sponsors here and there. Um, you know, I myself, I don't use it as, you know, a, a total day-to-day. -day. You know, I'm not letting people know what restaurants I'm at and stuff like that. But uh, I'm real general. I'll, you know, if I change states, I move around a bit, I'll, I'll let people know. But, uh, you know, I think it's a, it's a very good tool, you know. People are watching, you know, and I think it's good for your fans. They feel like they're really connected to you and they know uh, your every move. So it, it's cool. Um, I have one goal. It's to win this thing. Um, we've uh, we've been close in the past. You know, there's been two times that I can remember that we we've uh, we've run really well here and had a legitimate shot at winning it. And uh, you know, we finished second, we finished third, but uh, we haven't won it yet. So um, I probably share the same goal with probably uh, 32 other drivers. Man, I, I don't even want to think that far. But uh, you know, my grandfather said it'd be the biggest party ever if we won it. So. Um, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see, but um, you can't let your mind wander too much about that. you got to just focus on the task at hand and, and do what you can to get there. And from, from there on out, it's easy. Thanks for watching it on IndyCar.com.